These two business owners built out an entire web app with no technical or coding experience in just a few months. And they went on to acquire a user base of 60,000 people with zero marketing spend. So in this video, I'll share what is the tool that they built, who these two students are, and how you can get the same results even if you can write code yourself. And I will also be sharing four key lessons that you can take away from their venture to apply to your own startup journey. So whenever people find out about no code, they always want to build their own spins on popular apps. They want to build a Tinder for vegans or Skillshare just for musicians or an Uber for helicopters. Well, the two founders in today's video wanted to do exactly that. They wanted to put their own spin on Airbnb, where travelers, instead of paying money for their stay, can instead trade their places with each other for the duration of the holiday, helping them offset some of their travel expenses. And the name for that idea was Circle Home. So, David and Xavier, who are the founders of Circle Home, came up with the idea for it during their business studies in Barcelona. So they decided to pursue it as a capstone project. The idea was simple, build an Airbnb-like marketplace that would match up travelers with other potential travelers who'd rather stay in each other's homes rather than spending money renting out a place. As their home would be empty during the holidays anyways, they could use that to their advantage and save a lot of money on unnecessary travel expenses. It's really good for travel nurses or anyone in any industry where you need to travel for work. Sweet idea, isn't it? Well, David and Xavier thought so too. They decided to pursue it further than just a school project and turn it into a legit business venture. We saw real potential, so we decided to try it. The only problem was that both of us are non-technical. We didn't know how to code. Now, most founders in this situation would A, try to learn how to code themselves, but realize that it would take them years to be proficient enough to build out their idea. B, try to find a technical co-founder or ask their developer friends for help, which is basically impossible at the idea stage unless you have a good track record of previous ventures. C, hire expensive developers or dev agencies, which would cost them anywhere from fifty to dollars to $100,000 for the MVP. D, hire cheap developers, where they would still end up spending quite a bit of money, but end up with spaghetti code. So did that mean that their dream was over and that there was no way that they could launch their idea? Well, no. As after doing some research and exploring different options, David and Xavier found a new movement known as no code, which is a new way of developing online software where you do it visually with drag and drop tools and connect logic as well as APIs in the backend to give it powerful functionality, all without writing a single line of code. Now there are hundreds of no code tools on the market, each one serving its own purpose. But after doing thorough research, David decided to go ahead with a tool known as Bubble, as it ticked all the boxes and and requirements that they had for a no code platform. Not only would Bubble allow them to build Circle Homes Marketplace for available homes, but it would also allow them to manage users' profiles and accounts, which suit perfectly for the subscription revenue model that they had in mind. David decided to dive right into it and focus solely on building, while Xavier took on to customer acquisition. It took about four months to build Circle Home from scratch, having David working on it part time while he was finishing off his business studies. The first version was very rough and it had basic functionality. However, that was enough to land them a spot in Startup Bootcamp, which is a major startup accelerator in Europe. Both of them attended the accelerator in Amsterdam, and their venture ended up raising 120,000 euros in pre-seed funding. But the interesting thing is that they could have easily raised a much bigger round, but decided against it. Why? Well, chances are is that it would have taken them months to complete it, and they would have missed the key moment of the year which is summer. They wanted to make sure that everything was ready and operational by then so that they could work for the summer. Now, you remember how David was focused on building the platform while Xavier went off to focus on acquisition? Well, his efforts paid off. Through his work with partnerships in the B2B space, their potential user base was estimated to be roughly at 60,000 users. We have partnerships with institutions and enterprises to get our platform in front of their members or employees. And right now, Circle Home operates on the subscription basis, where every user pays 99 euros a year. This price lets them browse the available housing and chat with other home swappers on the platform. Once travelers make the arrangements, the agreements are all brokered through Circle Home, where every home swap includes insurance that would cover any of the damages, deposits, etc. And that is arranged through a third-party provider. Our goal is to make it high quality. You don't have to worry about anything. Everything is secure. Everything is taken care of. Currently, Circle Home is focusing their operations in Europe, but they do now have lots of listings in other countries like Thailand, US, and Australia. 
So this is the tool that they used and it is known as Bubble. And the thing that makes Bubble so powerful is that it's a full stack platform, meaning that it takes care of the front end as well as the back end. Now Bubble promises that you can design, develop and launch production grade applications all without code. There's already been over 3 million apps built on Bubble, which get 3 billion views per year and Bubble users have already raised $15 billion in funding. Now the key reason why you would use Bubble is that because it allows you to build any kind of web app without writing a single line of code. As you could see here in their example, you have this drag and drop builder where you can drag and drop different components, resize them and build everything visually. And it also has a logic builder where you can build different logic in this kinds of blocks. It also has a database where you can manage data as well as different accounts and it has very deep integrations with plugins where you connect to the REST API or different no-code API connectors like Make and Zapier or you can use plugins that have been made by other people specifically for Bubble to have even deeper functionality than Bubble already offers. It also has a hosting infrastructure meaning that once you build out your front end and the back end you don't need to take the code and then host it somewhere yourself. You can literally just press a few buttons and make it go live which makes it super easy for anyone to build out their web app. It also has collaborative features so you, you don't have to build yourself. You can be working on the same projects with other users and another awesome thing about it is that because Bubble has been around for such a long time it has a very vast marketplace where you can get different templates to build out your app much much faster or different plugins to expand onto the functionality there's templates for all kinds of apps so for dashboards project management apps landing pages uh, there's also frameworks that you can use to build much faster there's also ui kits honestly the marketplace is absolutely massive so no matter what you want to build there'll be a template that you can use to speed up your process massively and if you ever get stuck there's a lot of agencies that operate building on Bubble, as well as many different freelancers that you can hire to build out your idea. So what are the key takeaways that you can take from Circle's home story that you can apply to your own startup? Number one, the most obvious one, yet the most game-changing one, is to embrace and utilize no-code. Many people are still highly skeptical and critical of no-code without ever trying to build using it first. At the end of the day, your customers don't care whether you have to hire 100 developers or you just drag and drop a few components together to build your app. What they care about is whether or not it solves their problem. Lesson number two is to move quickly and don't focus on making everything 101% perfect. David was not afraid to share his basic and rough app with the world, rather than trying to get every pixel and every feature perfect. And it was because of that that he was able to quickly land a spot in the startup accelerator. Lesson number three is user acquisition is key. In SaaS, everything relies on customer acquisition. You can build out the most perfect, beautiful, game-changing app, but if it doesn't have any users, none of this would really matter. This is exactly what David and Xavier split the work that they did. They could have both worked on the app and developed it much faster and had more features. They knew that acquiring customers was just as important as building out the platform. So instead of both focusing on building and then praying that the customers will come to their door, they took a much more effective approach. Lesson number four is that timing is everything. Xavier and Xavier didn't sit and think of their idea for years before executing it. They knew that there was a market gap for an app such as theirs, so they went full steam ahead and decided to be the ones who build it and launch it to the market. They also understood their customers and the market really well, turning down a bigger investment rounds to instead launch their operations faster right in time for the high season. Now, if you want to learn the best no-code tools to build out your own app idea, make sure to click the video on the screen now.